Hi y'all, she was seven. So I'm back, yes, and I have something to talk about y'all. Okay, first of all, let's just get this in there first because a lot of people will comment because they don't know my history. I'm married. I'm married to a man who has a very good career. I don't have to work. I can stay home all day and do whatever I want. Okay, let's just get that out the way. And I'm not bragging or anything. It's just a lot of people that comment, they automatically assume I'm an angry, bitter, single female. But I'm not. I'm, I'm just, I'm trying to help my friends, y'all. I'm trying to help these other women get to where they want to get and look for warning signs and to skip dating the loser men, okay? That's what I'm trying to do. I helped one of my friends go from hanging out with losers to marrying a rich man okay I helped her I did that I helped her yes I did I'm gonna take credit for that so I'm trying to help other people do the same thing to get out of their ways when I first met my friend she was into looks only into looks only into looks pretty boys those pretty boys wouldn't even buy her a drink they would use her up toss her to the side not call her back you know so she started hanging around me we met right even though i was already dating somebody um it wasn't super serious at that time so i showed her how the game was played we would go out i would sit at the bar i would i would just sit there i would buy my own drink and i wouldn't look at anybody i was just yes i wouldn't look at anybody uh, I wouldn't talk to anybody. I wouldn't even, uh, I would just be drinking my drink and talking to her. And lo and behold, a man would come over and, you know, offer to buy us both another drink. And would sit down, have a conversation. And, you know, I would show her how to ignore people and have them come to you. Because if you're steady looking at somebody from across the bar begging for their attention, you know, flirting with them, that shows that you're very desperate. Now, women don't need to do that because men are automatically going to come to them if they're ignoring them. If they look like they're having a good time already, if they don't look like they need a man, that's when the man comes, okay? If they're just like, they totally ignore it, you know? They're just like, I wonder what she's got going on. I wonder what she's thinking about. You know, she's not even looking at me and you know, I think I'm the cutest guy in here and I'm just going to go say hi to her, you know? Anyway, so after she's been hanging around with me for about a year, she starts meeting rich guys. She starts upping her game. She starts going to nice places instead of the not so nice places. She starts hanging out with me. She starts getting approached by men with money. She starts getting relationships with men with money she married a man with money that man bought her a bar uh, a really nice BMW that man had a lake house and a house in the city you know all that she went from almost homeless wearing the same pair of jeans that were too small for her like she was just bad y'all and then she went to having everything she ever wanted plus her own business he bought her a business Okay, and she was not the most beautiful woman in the world. And I'm gonna tell you that she was always a little bit kind of jealous of me, but it wasn't what was here. It was what was here it was her game. She got really good at it because I taught her and she saw me in action. Okay, she saw me go from <laughs> living at my mom's house to living in a penthouse. Okay, so to make a long story short, I'm trying to help y'all. And I know a lot of men get mad because they don't want women to have high standards anymore. They want y'all to accept whatever they got. They don't want to have to work hard anymore. They don't want to have to put in any effort. They want everything handed to them on a silver platter because a lot of men weren't raised to be hard workers. They didn't see uh, a lot of men weren't weren't raised to be hard workers anymore. They didn't see the man doing all of this, this and that. You know, they saw their mom doing it. So now they're expecting women to do what their mom did for them. And that's not how it's supposed to be. So if you come across a man like that, you, you, gotta, you gotta say, you know what, I'm sorry. You know, I don't have room in my life for a child right now. 
or another child. I, I got to move it along, you know. And if they if they don't understand, just just leave them wondering, you know, leave them wondering because if they haven't figured it out by now, they really need to sit down and think about that one. So what you want is a man who's very masculine, who has gentleman qualities. You want a man who will pull out your seat, who will ask you on a date to a real restaurant, who will pay for your drinks, your food, and probably a nightcap or whatever, wherever y'all do. Who will pay for everything? Who actually put effort and thought into the date? Who planned it out? Who has money in their bank account to take a woman out? Okay, that's what you, you don't need to be struggling and working with these guys just so they can say that they had a date with you. No, they shouldn't even be dating if they can't afford to. And, and that's just point blank. They can take that money that they can save up that little money and go buy a hooker because most men date at a young age for a certain reason. If he's not willing to pay for your dinner, what makes you think he's willing to accept you as a wife? Okay? So bypass those kind of men. Suggest they go get a hooker and move on to the men who are, are serious, you know, who really want you to, uh, who really want to get to know you, who are still gentlemen, you know, equal rights, for females does not mean that men have to stop being gentlemen you know a lot of these guys the um mgtow guys men who go their own way believe that since females have equal rights now that they don't have to pay for our dates anymore so they really think that it gives them the right to stop being a gentleman and what female is impressed by a man who's not a gentleman i don't know you know they would have to, you know what, even if they looked really good, that aspect alone would make them look way uglier and turn me off, you know. Some women, they can't get turned on by a broke man. And I'm just telling you all the truth. Some women, it doesn't matter about the looks. It matters about what's in their, you know, wallet and in their bank account. And it's not being shallow. It's a scientific fact. Some women cannot get turned on unless their man has money. Some women cannot get turned on unless they are with a man with money. It's it, it's a scientific fact. They've done research. A woman is more likely to have an orgasm during sex if she's having sex with a, a man with money than a man with no money. Why? Because she's comfortable. She doesn't feel like, you know, oh, is my bills due? I'm going to have to pay this. Oh, my God. I had to buy my own dinner tonight. This really sucks. Why am I even in the bed with this loser? Oh, my God. And you're not concentrating. You're just worried about everything else. You know, when you're with the rich man, you're imagining, oh, my God, what if we get married? Oh, my God, what if we buy this big house? Oh, my God, I feel so good with this guy. He's so, uh, he's so wonderful he brought me roses he took me to the dispensary they're not thinking all this stuff all this positive stuff and it's raising their vibration and they're getting ready to just explode all over the place because this man can do way more for them this man can um do so much when the other guy has done so little you know so even if the man is not that good in bed, this, the lady will still most likely be more turned on by him because of what he can do for her. And that's just how women's brains are set up. We're scientifically accustomed and attracted to comfort. Okay? If, if y'all males haven't figured that out by now, I'm trying to tell you. Women like comfort. Women like to be in a place that feels safe and secure and nice. We don't like to just be except you know we don't want to accept just whatever you got there was this guy who wanted to marry me a long time ago and he thought he had his stuff together he had a, he owned a house he had a brand new truck this this and that so one day he invited me to his house i walk in that house it's it's not nice okay it's like in a bad part of town it's not nice it looked like a haunted house basically and it wasn't the kind of haunted house you want to live in. it wasn't the grand haunted house it looked like a shack a haunted shack and you know I, I, I stayed for a little while um, until it was t getting late and I said okay well thank you for inviting me to your house um, he's like 
I just want to be serious with you. Uh, I want a wife. This all this could be yours. And I'm like, no thanks. <laughs> I said, no thank you. I'm not ready to get married. And the truth was, I wouldn't get ready to get married and live in the ghetto. No, I don't want that. I don't want your house. Yeah, you might own it, but I don't want to live there. I don't want that environment. No, you got to do better. I said, sell this house. I, I suggested he sell it and put it on a down payment to another house. He was like, well, I already own this house. I'm like, well, then you need to find a different type of wife because I'm not living in this neighborhood, y'all. <laughs> so he was basically obsessed with me, y'all. He would call my mom's house every day, every day. Even after I had moved out, he would, I mean, he was obsessed with me. Uh, I, I told him I couldn't marry him because of where he lived and I can't live like that, y'all. And my mom's like, you need to tell that man to stop calling this house. I said, well, just tell him I'm married. I mean, he stopped calling. I wasn't really married, but I just told her to tell him that so that he would leave me alone. So. Y'all. And I know a lot of guys will say, well, you don't look like you're all that. Well, imagine me 15 years ago. I, I was very much all that, okay? And <laughs> I'm not ashamed to admit it, okay? You got to have self-esteem to make it in this world. Uh, 15 years ago, I was all that, okay? And a bag of chips. You know that old saying? I was all that and a bag of chips. Yep, I can say it because I'm that old. So, yeah, when I met my husband which was 2001, he thought he had won the lottery. So yes, and we've grown, we've had, we've had a family, we've got kids, we've got dogs, we've got houses, we've got cars together, and he likes me just the way I am, and nothing, you know, could be better. You know, I, he tells me I don't have to work. He doesn't ever want me to go to, go to work. He's already told me, your, your best right here where you are. You don't need to go out and work for nobody else because he already knows. He already knows. The best place for especially a woman with young kids is with her kids. You know? You have so many people raising other people's kids and the kid didn't even really know their parent. I like my mom worked a lot. I don't there's still stuff I don't even know about my mom and I never you know I passed the point of asking her, you know, because she's always gone or at work. My, you know, my kids know everything about me. They know my favorite this, they know my favorite that. They know my favorite show, my favorite song. They know my favorite food. They know all the stories I told growing up. I mean, they knew all the stories of me growing up. They know everything about me, okay? Um, and they have a father figure who shows an example of a provider, protector man who goes out to work, brings home the money, takes care of the kids, uh, and stuff like that. They see that. So when they go out to date, when they get older, they're going to expect their man to be like their father. You know, they're not going to expect their man to be like, you know, their brother or their son um, or a baby. They're not going to expect a man to come halfway. So automatically, they're going to just shoot down all those guys with their hands out and be like no my daddy told me no you know my daddy pays for stuff like that you're the man you're supposed to pay you know so I won't have to worry about that because I have my house in order and men don't ever fix your mouth to tell a woman that she needs to lower her standards you need to raise your standards, okay? You're supposed to be the man. You're trying to tell me that you're going to let a female uh, have standards that you can't meet, so you just got to get mad and throw a fit like a baby? That's just silly. Rise up, meet your standards, and you can meet women's standards. And a lot of men are going to different countries because they can't meet the standards of the women in their own country. So they have to go leave and trick other women somewhere else and lie to them and then you know get their way with them then leave the country come back here be a loser again so they can save up their little miles on their credit card bills from 
getting gas money to go to work every day at their meaningless job. So if y'all agree with me, if y'all don't agree with me, I don't care. But I just had to get that off my chest because I have so many trolls on my channel who are mad at me for having high standards and teaching other women to have high standards. Men, if you had high standards, our standards would be normal. You don't have high standards. You have low standards, mediocre standards. You're lazy. You don't want to do nothing. You don't want to set an example for our daughters or your sons anymore. And you want us to be more manly than you. <laughs>